Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 6th of February. I'm James Spann. Cloudy, cold, gray today. Maybe a little precipitation, but uh, nothing like last week. On a synoptic scale, mesoscale, nothing remotely similar to last week. And that's good. Uh, let's go in there and take a look at the uh, big picture this morning. This is the water vapor satellite imagery. And it's the deal where we got the active southern stream. Next disturbance is over Texas, and that'll be passing through Alabama today. Might squeeze out a little bit of something later. Starting off today in the upper 20s and low 30s. Birmingham at 29, a little colder up north, uh, mid-20s for Cullman and Haleyville. I'm not so sure we see 40 today. We'll probably stay in the 30s all day. Somebody might touch 40. And uh, it's just tough up north. This has been a long, harsh, brutal winter. And it looks like over Montana, some locations are at 30 below zero this morning. And those are not wind chill indices. That's the actual air temperature. Ouch. All right, uh, in the watch warning map, we have no winter weather watches, warnings, advisories here, nothing. No need for them. None of the adjacent states have them. Uh, there are winter weather advisories for parts of Texas and Oklahoma. Few counties in southeast Texas are under a winter weather advisory north of Houston, over into southwest Louisiana. But again, there's no need for anything here today. And really, it's a dry look for the next five days. This is the QPF chart, and this is valid through Tuesday morning of next week, showing really nothing for about the northern half of Alabama. And I think that's pretty close to being correct. Uh, maybe a little bit down to the south, but not much. And this is the chance of accumulating snow today, really for the next 24 hours, valid from 6 o'clock this morning until 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. And there's one little brown speck down there, which is a 1% chance north of Mobile, but other than that, nothing. Again, there is zero empirical evidence to suggest any uh, issues with snow accumulation or ice or anything like that today, despite some of the rumors that are flying. Let's take a look at the modeling. This is the GFS, the 06Z run at noon today. There's the energy to the west. Down below that, the GFX, uh, GFS looks pretty dry. Uh, it just doesn't have uh, anything today, despite that disturbance, but it's cold. Uh, the GFS, the NAM showing a high of 42, might be a little optimistic. Uh, this is the RPM, uh, high resolution model. This is valid today at five o'clock. It has nothing like the GFS, and it's a very good mesoscale model. Really, the only model that identifies any precipitation is the uh, NAM, uh, the high res four kilometer NAM. And it prints out a touch of light rain. This is uh, 4 o'clock this afternoon. And uh, we're going to mention that, some chance of scattered light rain. And in the mix, there could be a snowflake or a patch of sleet, ice pellets, as uh, thermal values would support some of that. But, uh, you know, again, there's just no evidence for problems. Weather Service in Birmingham put this out, and I think that's probably spooking some people where you see a little map with snowflakes on it over Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden. Uh, could there be a snowflake? Yes. But again, on any scale, this is nothing like last week, and we just don't expect any issues. All right, this is tomorrow. Looks like a dry day. Not as cold as today. The high, I'd say upper 40s. And I think the sun kind of peeks through. Maybe some filtered sunshine tomorrow. All right, weekend fans, let's take a look. This is Saturday, and again, the main energy is way north of here and down below that. Uh, there's a surface low over Iowa, and there could be some light snow around Chicago and Des Moines. Uh, but down to the south, that southern uh, system, little surface low forms in the Gulf, and it scoots up over to the South Atlantic coast, and it really stays south of here. Uh, so this is suggesting a dry day on Saturday. I've still got like a very slight chance of a shower just in case. I think we can probably take that out a bit later. And by golly, we're going to warm up into the mid-50s. That'll feel pretty good. Sunday, 
looks dry. We got some cold air advection going on. And again, you know, there'll be some clouds around with that. And I guess, you know, somebody somewhere might see a sprinkle or a flurry Sunday morning, but that's just such a small chance we're not going to mention that. Uh, Partly sunny with a high in the low 50s with a north breeze. Monday of next week, same deal, partly sunny. I'd say the high will be maybe upper 40s with some look like that. And Tuesday, here comes the next system in the southern stream, and that should bring a pretty good wet down. This is Tuesday at midday. Rain breaks out to the west. Uh, Pretty good rain event. This is Tuesday night at midnight. We should have some rain at that point. And this is Wednesday. A surface low is down in the Gulf. And, uh, you know, you get a little nervous when you see a look like that in the middle of winter here. But the thermal values would suggest all rain. Here's the European Valid uh, Wednesday morning at 6 o'clock local time. Uh, It's got the surface low farther north. It's uh, around Meridian. And that'd just be a good wet down. So at this point, it looks like a good rain event. uh, Tuesday night, Wednesday of next week with no winter weather issues based on these looks. And this is Thursday. A week from today, that system is gone and we dry out. Go there and check the end of the forecast quickly. The 21st of February got ridging over Florida. Uh, Most of the wave action well to the north, and that would be relatively mild if this is right, and that's a big if. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video, uh, if we can, by 4 o'clock today, we have a storm show tonight. The uh, weather tour kicks off in Gadsden, so not so sure we can do the video. We'll try one way or another. There'll be a fresh discussion on the blog. And if you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News this evening on the uh, live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.